One of the reasons Manchester United hired Eric Ten Hag was because they felt he had the ability to get even more out of the players already at the club. Although the Dutchman was backed with a record level of investment across his first transfer window at the club, they made it clear that his rebuild would also be centered around making the most of the squad's untapped potential. Marcus Rashford has been the biggest success of his impressive managerial approach, while the likes of Fred, Luke Shaw and David De Gea have also improved under his guidance. Next on the list will be United's right-wing dilemma, as Ten Hag looks to combine the new and the old to finally find a solution to a problem position. Antony's arrival last summer brought United's total to £204 million spent on trying to strengthen their right wing in less than three years, yet there is still no standout performer in that area of the pitch. At the age of 23, the Brazilian winger is the oldest option they have in that role, though he is still only three years into his time in European football and needs longer to adapt to the ways of the Premier League. Jadon Sancho is a year younger, but the most experienced right winger at the club, though he has played his best football on the left for United and is currently being trialled as an attacking midfielder as Ten Hag looks to get more from him. It means United are still looking for another option on the right, but given they can't justify another signing in that position, the solution will need to be an internal one instead. They might have already made up their minds. United have another two even younger options to experiment with on the right wing, and it seems like one of them is already leading the way heading into next season. Facundo Pellistri is yet to make his full debut for the club, and despite impressing in all six of his substitute appearances, the club are planning to let the winger head out on loan next season. United are reluctant to sell the 21-year-old less than three years into his old Trafford career, and any loan move would likely determine whether he has a long-term future at the club. It is also understood that Pellistri will be offered a new contract before he leaves to protect his long-term value and given that it is in their own personal interest if he continues his upward trajectory. They are also open to letting Anthony Alanga leave this summer if a suitable offer comes in, which means current Loney Ahmad could well be the best placed for the backup role. The 20-year-old has been a real success story this season and has established himself as one of the top talents in the second tier with his performances for Sunderland. Ahmad has eight goals and three assists for Tony Mowbray's side playing a key role in their surge up the table and within three points of the playoff positions. Ever since he signed, United have been keen for Ahmad to gain experience playing in British football so that he would be best prepared for any possible future in the Premier League, sending him to Rangers last season and Sunderland for this campaign. The Ivorian youngster still has a lot to do if he is to make the leap to playing regularly for United, but at such a young age, he has gained priceless experience this season in a physical league and has solid foundations to build upon. It could well be that another loan move is necessary in his development plan, but that should only be considered once Ten Hag has had the opportunity to gauge his progress in the summer. What is clear is that expectations must be eased on the highly talented youngster, though there is certainly reason to be excited given the glimpses of gold dust he has sprinkled already this season. For all of their problems on the wing, Ahmad could be the right answer.